Okay, guys, we are working on our secret message card. I have a panel here, and I accidentally bent it. I'm just going to go ahead and live with it. This is going to be a really fun, cute card. And all you have to do is go in and type in the last name of the person you want and the family or the person that you want it to go to and attach that for your writing. And you will see that when you open the file. Now, that being said, um, in the file, you are going to see your cards laid out in this manner. Let me put them down. You're going to see that one. And then you're going to see that one. You're going to see that one and that one. It's very important that you put these together correctly. Okay? I did not use a thick, heavy cardstock because you are going to be gluing these together back to back. Okay? And it's very important that you get the correct pieces in the correct order. And I'm just hoping that I don't mess this up. <laughs> um, but it, it's a very easy, quick card uh, once you've got it cut and all the writing. Now, you can do print and cut and make it a little quicker. But you want to make sure, if you're going to use tape or whatever, that you get these cards together well. So make sure that your edges are done and that they stick together good. I'm going to get these all lined up and glued together. Make sure I got it even. I'm just going to give it a good rub. Spread that glue out. There we go. And that's going to be one card. And then you're going to take these two and you're going to put those together. Okay. So let's get some glue. And I'm using a mixture of card stocks, guys. These are uh, scraps that I had left over. I believe this is Jolly St. Nicholas or Lost and Found from my mind's eye. It's discontinued. I don't believe you can get it anymore. You might look up and find it, but I was just using stuff that I had. Use what you have. Pick a theme and, and go with it. Lay it out like you want. Uh, as far as colors and things like that go, just know that you have to have panels for all the pieces there. So we're going to let those dry. So now we have our two panels. We're going to set those to the side. And then you have this card with three slits in it. Okay? You're going to, this is my front, it's textured. So you're going to fold on your score. A nice good fold on there. And just be very careful when you take it off your mat and when you're folding. Just get a good fold. And then I'm going to, there's another one right down the middle here. And you're going to fold that. I'm just going to pinch these so that I know where my fold is at. And then I'm just going to fold it in half. I'm going to rub each one of those down. Just be gentle with it for now. It's going to get sturdy here in just a second. And then you've got your fourth score line or your fourth panel. I'm going to pinch those down and crisp line. So then you're going to have something that looks like this and then you're going to fold this one in the middle. You're going to fold it back again. And I'm just going to use my bone folder. And so it's going to look like a W when you get done. Okay. And this is the front of my card. I'm just going to set that to the side. Now I'm going to build up my front card panel. And I got this piece going on the top of that. Just going to layer it up here. I'm interested to see what you guys come up with to do with this card. It's going to reveal a secret message. Or that's what you can use them for. That's what it used to be called, a secret message card. 
That's really weird. That's, I don't think that cut, the cut isn't straight though. I mean, the cut is straight, but the paper must have been off on the mat. I'm gonna live with it though. I don't like that paper. Got a little glitter to it. That is from my mind's eye. So this panel is going to go into the center of this panel. It doesn't really matter which way it goes. It's just that I have a little bit of an overlap there, and I'm not sure why. It might be my cardstock, or I might have gotten my fold off a little bit. But it's going to be okay. I think that's what it is. I think my fold is off a little bit. I'm okay with it. So, I'm going to lay this out how the front of my card is going to look. And I'm going to place glue just right now. Oops, and I just did the wrong side. Uh, do as I say and not as I do. I have to get my glue eraser out. It doesn't really matter. I don't get uh I did have it the right way because the writing is going that way. I was right. I'm just going to put a little on the side here because I'm not going to glue it together. I just want to lay this card out and get this even. And I did mess up and cut my panel red, but I don't care. It, it's okay. You can change it and make it a different color. I should have cut them in reverse, but I'm going to live with it. And I'm just going to go back here. So in the file, it is laid out in red, so I will change it in the file so that you guys don't goof up like I goofed up. Unless you like it like that. It makes it pop a little bit better, I think. So that's what you have here. You just want that flap. You don't want to do anything else with that. And I just messed up. That's what's wrong. I, I've had a long day, guys. Please bear with me. My panels. I forgot my panels. I didn't mess up, so I don't have to change the file. Put your panels on first. <laughs> Glad I got that apart before it dried. Can hide my boo-boo. See, all's not lost. Even the pros make mistakes, guys. And so I'm going to put that panel there, and then I've got another. Make sure, if you've got something like I do here that's got words on it, you want to make sure that you... I'm going to put that one in the inside because it's got Santa Claus on there. It doesn't really matter, but make sure your words are going in the same direction or your patterns, whatever you have. I think you guys are really going to like this card. Let's get that panel lined up. And then we're going to open it up, and these two panels go in. And if you want to change out the images, of course you can do that. You can change out the writing in the file. I do have it set up for this, just like this, and all you have to do is add your names. grabbing extra fast today. So now I have my panels on there. Now let's put this panel back on there again. So I'm going to close that up. And my glue back on. At least I have a glue line now.
and press it down. So there we go. We have our card. We're almost done. And on the front, I am doing a little Santa Claus thing. And you can pop dot this up or do different things. Put Merry Christmas on there. Lots of stuff. I'm just going to put it right in the, well, I said right in the center. Maybe I've got it right. And then another layer with a different color. And whatever color this is, is the color your words are going to pop out to be. And then I have this one in the writing. Make sure that you get all those little pieces on your cardstock. Be very careful when you take this one off. You want to get all those little edges by those H's just so that they don't lift up. And then you're going to center that one up right there. And if you are very careful taking them off, you should have the centers to your O's. And you need those. And I am, this is the way that I do it. I like to just put a dot of glue on my card. And then grab it with my tweezers and that letter. I am paying attention because that letter, I want my letters to go the same way. If you don't have a pattern card stuck, it really won't matter. Just, just kind of OCD that way. When it comes to that, my it catches my eye on letters and numbers. Make sure they go the right way. did not pay attention to if it was in the right spot or not, but it looks like I got it right because they're running into the right place. So there's those. And then we have our little Santa belt that goes on there. And let me see. This looks like it goes this way right here, but I'm going to build this up first. This one goes on, if you're using the same file, you're going to put this one on just like that so that the little belt notch, and you want to make sure you get glue on that. And you're just going to place it right on the top. And then we have one tiny other piece. And you can flatten this, guys, if you want. And not have to do with these little pieces. That's normally what I do. But I wanted the... I wanted this one to have the little extra on it. So I didn't go with the print cup. Okay, and then we're just going to glue that down. Right in line with the sign. There we go. How cute is that? We're not done. We're almost done. And then we're going to open that up. And then we have our little boy and our little girl pieces. And I'm just going to glue those together. I did layer those up too, just so they would match up with the card.
haven't decided which way I want. I did flip them so that they were opposite, but I don't, haven't decided which side I want to put them on yet. It's just a small shadow layer on this. These are design space images. If you don't have access, you can swap these out. Put in your own images. Okay. I think that I have them like that. I think I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I think so. One up, one down, why not? And you could pop dot those too if you wanted to, I guess. I don't think it would hurt anything. In the operation of the card. I hope you guys like this. I love this little card. It took some time to figure out and get it laid out. But it's fun. So now you're... This is where this comes in. You want to start with the one that says he's making and checking it twice and you want to start at the top in that first you want to go under over and under okay and that's all you want to do and now this one you're going to go under let's go from the bottom make it easier you're gonna go over you're just weaving like a basket weave. Over and under. So now when you open up the card, it says he's making a list, checking it twice. He's gonna find out. What's he gonna find out? But on the back, it says to Merry Christmas and to this is who it's to. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and from the Cobras. So you got like a checker on the back. He's making a list, checking it twice. Where did the rest of that writing go? Well, if you fold, this will make it a secret card. When you fold the center up, then you're just going to pull back who's naughty, who's nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. How cute is that? So it's like a little book. And then you just pull it straight and it's back to the card that you had before. How cute is that? I hope you guys enjoy this card. Please give a thumbs up, like on the video, share. Um, please don't share the design. Let them come to the video and get it themselves. I would greatly appreciate that. So there you go. And if you want to take all these little letters that you had and put ho, ho, ho in here on these, you can do that. You can embellish those. It won't hurt anything. So there you go, guys. Love, love, love this card. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will catch you on day three. This is the uh, shared public file for day two of the Christmas in July 2019. See you on the next one.